Um, today is actually National Donut Day, so we are going to make a coffee cake donut recipe. Um, I will let you know ahead of time, this is not a healthy recipe. This is an actual donut recipe. So it's going to have sugars, it's gonna have flours. Um, of course, there are substitutions that you could use in place of those, but today we're just gonna to stick to the traditional ingredients. Um, again, we like to make sure that different likes and interests are all covered. Um, you will need to do a couple of things ahead of time, like prepare a cold brew for this recipe because we will be making a mocha icing that will require some of that cold brew. I used our biotics brew, which is our featured roast of the day. Um, I will post a special link for the biotics brew in the comments below so that you can also check out that deal. Um, our biotics brew though, not only tastes amazing, but it's also full of added benefits like probiotics. Um, very easy to prepare, it's already coarse ground, so all you have to do is measure out. Um, I did one to five as my ratio, so one cup of the Biotics Brew coarse ground coffee to five cups of water, and I allowed that to brew in the refrigerator overnight, and then, of course, strain that out to use that concentrated coffee um, for the recipe. So, to get started, the first thing that we will need to prepare is a crumb topping that we're gonna put on top of our cake, our coffee cake donuts. Um, in order to make that crumb topping, you will need to make sure that you have cold butter. So this is one quarter of a stick of unsalted um, cold butter that I had cubed up. And then we have one quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. Of course, you could use cane sugar or a sweetener of your choice in substitution. Um, we also have here three and a half tablespoons of flour, and I have one quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And what we're going to do first is just mix these three dry ingredients, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix in that um, cold butter to get that crumble in. So here goes my flour, my cinnamon. I'm gonna mix this up really well to make sure that all of my spices and flowers and sugars get mixed up really well. I'm very excited about this. So not only are we going to have a coffee cake taste, but we're also going to have that delicious mocha icing using some of our Life Boost Biotics brew. So it's going to be so delicious. All right, so let's go ahead and put that cold cubed butter in here. And we're just going to kind of, that's why I use the whisk, so I can just kind of push it through. Um, Another thing that you could use would be like a potato masher would be good, one of those pastry blenders, um, something like that. But you do want the, the butter to be cold, not room temperature, so, so that it'll form that crumble topping. Once we have incorporated this all and made this into a crumbly mixture, we will pop this into our freezer until we are ready for it while we prepare our donut mixture. And if you do not have a silicone donut pan, you would also want to be able to uh, make sure that you prepared that pan and sprayed it with a cooking spray so that it doesn't stick. Um, the silicone should be fine without it. And you'll want to pre preheat your oven to 350 degrees for this recipe as well. Okay, you want to be sure that you're working pretty quickly so that the butter is not melting or getting too soft. Once your mixture resembles a coarse mill, you will take this and pop it into your freezer so that it can stay cold while you're preparing the rest of the ingredients for your donuts. Okay, so what we will need to do for the donuts is we will need to make sure that we have one cup of flour, one half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one room temperature egg, so make sure that you lay that out ahead of time, two and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter that I have cubed, and a half a cup of full fat plain Greek yogurt. So what you'll do first is you're just going to take your dry ingredients here. So we have our brown sugar, our flour, and our baking powder. And we're going to mix this up really well. Let me get my whisk back out here. So we're gonna mix this 
into one bowl, okay, and you're going to want that to be in the larger bowl because you're going to later add the wet ingredients to this. Make sure that that's all incorporated, break up that brown sugar if you need to. And again, this is not a healthy recipe if you're wanting that. Um, of course, there are other substitutions that you can use for these ingredients. And then in the smaller bowl, we're gonna go ahead and put our wet ingredients in. So again, that is one half of a cup of full fat Greek plain yogurt. You can also use sour cream if you would like, but I like the added benefits of the Greek yogurt, just like the probiotics that we're going to get from the biotics brew. And then we're gonna add that one room temperature egg. and the two and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter. That should be softened too. And we're just gonna mix that up really well. And the thing is, so you're mixing these into separate bowls because when you combine the two bowls, the ingredients in both, you don't want to over mix because then you can make your donuts too tough and who wants to eat a tough donut? So you wanna make sure that you're just folding it in gently the wet ingredients into the dry. And this will make a thick batter. Um, and this is going to make enough for six regular sized donuts. Of course, you can make mini donuts if you have that mold, or you could double the recipe to make a dozen, whatever the, you know, whatever you'd like to do. Okay. So we have this nice and mixed up. And we're gonna go ahead and add this into our dry ingredients here. And mix gently. <clears throat> A little trick that I'm going to do to pipe this mixture out into the mold is I took out a bowl and a gallon size Ziploc bag and opened it up into that hole like this. And I will put the batter into the bag, cut the tip off, and then be able to pour that into our molds a whole lot easier than using a spoon. Of course, you can use a spoon too to spoon it into the molds, but I think this is much easier to use a bag. Plus, you could just take it and throw that bag away when you're finished. Or, of course, you can use piping bags, icing bags if you have those, even reusable ones. Those would work well too. So, this is starting to look like an actual dough now. All right, so I went ahead and put my batter into my Ziploc bag and cut the end of it, the corner of it, so that I could pipe it into my silicone donut pan. Again, if you do not have a silicone donut pan, make sure that you spray it so that it doesn't stick. That would not be good. And again, this is enough to make six full-size donuts. There are so many different things that you could add to this or switch up for this. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. And we will prepare a mocha icing after these cook and cool. It's going to be delicious. Once we have all of this batter piped into our pan, we're gonna go ahead and pop out that crumb topping from the freezer and evenly distribute that among those six donuts. And then we're gonna pop that into our oven for three at 350 degrees. These will only take about 10 minutes to bake. All right, so I have my crumble topping out and I'm just gonna use a fork and kind of dust each of those. Um, this is gonna coat pretty much all of the donut part that you can see at the top. This is gonna make it that delicious cinnamon crumble that you think of when you think of a coffee cake. So good. All right, oops. And there is quite a bit here. And again, as soon as we have these, it, this um, crumble topping evenly distributed among those six donuts, we're gonna pop this into the 350 degree oven and bake these for 10 to 11 minutes. And then we will need them to cool for another 10 minutes so that we can ice them with that mocha icing. So while these bake, 
We'll move on to our homemade mocha icing using that Biotics Brew Cold Brew. And those will, that'll take simple ingredients as well. Nothing to it. All right. Let's get these into the oven. Okay, now for our final step, we need to prepare that mocha icing. So in my bowl, I have one and one quarter cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to add to this two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. I'm going to also add two tablespoons of that cold brew that we made with the Biotics brew. We're gonna add two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder and one half of a teaspoon of vanilla and we're going to combine this to make the icing for our donuts. Now this would also be an excellent icing for you could put this on cupcakes, you could put this on you know different breakfast um, items, baked goods, whatever you would like. It's a great mocha icing that can be used for several different recipes. Once you have that incorporated you're just going to set this aside or you can pop it into the refrigerator if you'd like. Um, I just leave mine out to be room temperature until my donuts have cooled. So the donuts have about two more minutes of baking. And then again, we're going to allow those to cool for at least 10 minutes so that our icing doesn't just melt right off. But as you can see, it once combined, it makes a nice thick icing that's going to be absolutely delicious on our coffee cake donut. Okay, so our donuts baked perfectly. They look beautiful. Um, these are the cinnamon coffee cake crumble donuts. And I did put our mocha icing into a baggie so that I can pipe that over the top. However, and I'm sure you've noticed by now, I went ahead and whipped up some chocolate donuts as well, which these can be made into a clean version and I will post that recipe into the comments below in case you wanna make that one instead, if you wanna stay with the, the clean ingredients. Um, this one is simple to do, and it's gonna be just as tasty, and also would be amazing with that mocha icing even still. Um, so what we're gonna do is just cut off the tip of this bag, just like we did when we were piping that batter into our molds, and dribble a little bit over those donuts. And these are gonna be amazing and give it that nice mocha flavor for our coffee cake donuts. Uh, gorgeous. Of course, you can add whatever topping you would like. If you wanna throw on some nuts on there, that'd be a great combination. Um, sprinkles, whatever your heart desires. But as usual, if you do decide to try this recipe, please let me know what you think um, and let me know which one you chose. Thank you and have a great day. Happy National Donut Day.